Recently, I was checking out the new Google Photo Scan app, which is an app to allow you to scan in uh, printed photos and digitize them um, using your smartphone. Okay, so this is the icon. You can just uh, click it and it gives you a little tutorial on how to scan. Basically, you take an initial image of the picture and then you uh, scan each of the four corners of the image and then Google use some algorithms to remove the glare and try to get the image into a good digital format. So I started wondering, I said, you know, is this um, as good as a normal scanner? Of course, it's not gonna be as good as a flatbed scanner, but I'm wondering if the image quality is good enough to use for some professional work. Um, so I figured I'd test it out and give it a try. Let's take it. So what I'm gonna be using is this image. This is an image of um, some kind of insect created by the US Geological Survey they have a special project on documenting um, different uh, types of bees. And they often also take pictures of other types of insects. And you can see this is a beautiful image. Obviously, you would normally be working on, um, you know, scanning in like old home photos or something like that, or maybe old, um, you know, antique photos using this app. I picked this image because it had um, some pretty high detail and also it had some good uh, color in it. So that way we can assess how good this scanner actually is that Google made. So this image was originally, I forget what the resolution was, but I printed it as a five by seven and it has about 600 and some DPI. The way the Google app works is it scans the long end, the long edge in to about um, 3000 DPI. So I think the calculator app, there's no calculator app. It's, it's amazing. Like, now well, let's go ahead and just uh, download one here. If we're going to go for seven inches um, at 3,000 pixels, will be about 428 uh, pixel pixels per inch. Um, so obviously the scan will be a little bit lower resolution than the print, but that's what we want. And then what we'll do is we'll actually scan it into um, an Epson professional scanner. And we'll compare the two along with comparing it to the original and see how good this uh, photo scan app is. I'm going to be using my iPhone 8 Plus to scan this image in. So um, it's debatable whether this is the best camera on the market right now as far as smartphones go, uh, but it definitely is Apple's best camera. The dual lens camera is the same camera that the iPhone X uses. And so, um, you know, we're sure that we're using a high resolution, a high quality, um, smartphone camera to get this scan. Okay, so here we are in my iPhone 8 Plus. Um, let me jump into the photo scan app and we can see it's using my smartphone's camera. I have the image set up here um, on a dark background right in front of a nice uh, bright window. Okay, I've kind of got this set up just to reflect some of the light so I don't get as much reflection coming in. And so I'm, my intent here is to get a nice evenly lit image, a high quality image, um, the best that I can, so we can you know accurately compare these two. Now we can see even with my setup here, let's see if I can move this around to block some of this incoming light. I still have a little bit of reflection up towards the top of the image there. Um, I could choose to turn on the flash option in the bottom right here. I could turn that on but I'm not going to, in my experience, there's quite a bit of reflection um, that comes off of that light, especially with an image that has a little bit of a glossy um, finish. Um, so I'm just going to try to frame this the best I can, um, and then we'll press the button here to take a snap of the image. Okay, and then what the app wants us to do is move the focus down to each of the corners. I think it's a little bit jumpy here since I am recording my screen but it's going to scan each of the four corners and then do some algorithms and then it will give us a resulting image like this. Now, <clears throat> once we've captured the image, there are a few options here, although I think there should be more. You can see we can, in the bottom left here, we can obviously rotate the image. Okay, we can adjust the corners. So if I click the middle bottom here, it will take us into the original full scan. And I can click each of the corners and select right on the corner. It has this nice kind of uh, 
magnification that happens when I do this and I've got big thumbs it makes it a little bit hard and hit done and it will modify the saved photo okay and then other options are just delete share and then there's this uh, other menu up here these three dots in the top right when I tap this I would expect to see some kind of other output options you know maybe choosing the file output maybe choosing the final resolution um, but unfortunately this app doesn't give me any of that it always outputs the final resolution to 3000 pixels on the long edge so all that's left to do is to uh, get this onto my computer and we can compare this uh, to the scan I'm going to make and, and see how good this photo scan app is okay so here I am on my Mac um, I've got this uh, printed image placed in my Epson V850 professional scanner um, I've taken a look at the resolution here since Google's photo scan will set this to the long edge of 3000 pixels um, we need to go ahead and set this to 400 and about 29 about 429 dpi to render a 3000 pixel scan on the long edge so I've gone ahead and done that so what I'll do now is I'll scan this in and we'll be able to compare the two different scans, um, their quality, and see how good uh, the Google Photo Scan digitization is. Okay, so here we are uh, back on my Mac. Um, I have each of these images open and this first one we're looking at right now is the Photo Scan image. Um, so the first thing I noticed when I opened this is it felt a little bit stretched or something like that. So if I go in here and I look at my image size, we know that this image uh, had a long edge of 3000 pixels. So I went ahead and set this to the width of seven and the correct resolution um, to get 3000 pixels there. And notice the height is at 5.25, but we knew that this image was a five by seven when printed. So that's telling me that the Google PhotoScan app did not get the proportions right. It stretched it vertically by a quarter inch. So um, even though you know it was printed good and we had a good resolution in printing, it somehow didn't determine the correct size uh, when scanning it in. So it was stretched a little bit. So I found that interesting. So now uh, let's jump over to this other file here. You'll notice I have three layers here. I have the original cropped image uh, that I exported or you know downloaded from Flickr. I have the um, Epson scan image, and then I have the photo scan um, image. So I'm going to just take this photo scan image and go ahead and stretch it back to fit the document size, which is 5 by 7 at the 428 point whatever DPI to get our 3,000 pixels on the long edge. And I'll stretch this uh, corner just a little bit um, just so that we, we've gotten rid of the white um, Corner. There's a little bit of the paper white showing there, so we've gotten rid of that now. Okay, so let's take a closer look here. So this is the Google Photo Scan image. Um, I have it on top of the Epson Photo Scan image, and if I switch between the two, I notice that um, you know, especially if you look here at the eye, there's so much more resolution in the Epson scan and the scanner image than there is in the Photo Scan image. So obviously, it's capturing a much higher resolution, and that's to be expected. Um, as far as colors, colors feel a little bit more washed out. There is less um, there is less tonal value between changes of colors. And um, you know, pretty much all over, the Epson scanner did a much better job. I've got a lot more detail um, in the darker areas um, and in almost every aspect of the image, there's more detail, there's better color rendering, and there's better tonal values. Um, so, you know, for me, the decision is easy. If you have to go between the professional scanner and Google Photo Scan, you always use the professional scanner if it's an option. Now, does that mean that the Photo Scan image um, doesn't work? Well, um, I don't know. It depends on your use. I think this could possibly work for you know web-based imagery um, I'm not sure that this would be ideal for something that needs to go into a print publication unless you you know we're printing it at a very small resolution or for example only and then even though Google claims to you know be able to get rid of reflections and stuff we still see 
And some of that reflected light was up here in the corner. Um, so this is much more suited for home use and um, importing, you know, family photos than it is using as a, you know, a professional image capture option. Now, if that's all you've got, that's all you've got. And maybe that's what you uh, will end up using. But whenever you have a scanner um, that catches high resolution scanning, um, you should always use that. Okay, let's just take a look at the original here. And this really is a beautiful photo. I'll provide a link to uh, where I found this photo at. There's a ton of B photos in there that are very cool to see. Um, and yeah, so that's my comparison of Google Photo Scan to actual professional um, scanning imagery. And um, in the end, there's really no comparison, but it could get you by in a pinch. Okay, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Please like and subscribe. Have a good one.